Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the bulk insert of the data present in Azure Blob Storage in a CSV to Azure SQL Database. In the notepad, there are a few steps, four steps we have, which we have to perform in the Azure SQL Database. These queries we have to execute there so that we can perform the bulk insert of that CSV or the flat file from the Blob Storage to here. So the first step is to create master key, then the database scope credential. So let me just go ahead and create the master key. So let's just copy the command, the first command of creating the master key by giving the password. We'll go to the database. Here we are inside the CK SQL DB. Under the query editor section, here we'll paste the command. We'll execute it. So here the the output says that it already has a master key in the database. If you already have the master key, then no need to create the master key. If you don't have, then only you need to create it. Okay. So this step looks fine for us. We'll go with the second step. In the second step, we have to create a database group credential using identity, which must be shared access signature for the storage account. Use a SAS token generated for the block storage account. Verify that the SAS token doesn't have a leading question mark that you have at least read permission on the object that should be loaded, okay? So for that purpose, we have to first go to the storage account and create the SAS token. Mm -hmm. On the other page, if you go here, this is the storage account, Cloud Knowledge. Here, we have the Cloud Knowledge storage account which you're going to use. And if you go inside the security and networking section, we'll go to the shared access signature. Here, we can generate the SAS token. So we'll select here, allowed services and rest of the settings as is. We'll select the service, container, object, everything. And then give the time from today's date to let's say tomorrow's date. Allow protocols, we'll let me, we'll allow the protocols, both types and create the SAS. If you go down, connection string and SAS token will be displayed. So we have to take the SAS token. We'll copy this. We'll go to the notepad. Here we are going to paste this SAS token for our storage account. We'll give the database a scope credential name. Here is the name which we have given. Then the second step is with identity. The identity used here is shared access signature for the storage account. That's why we have given then the secret, the secret, which is the SAS token, which we have generated. So we'll copy this. We'll create this database scope credential. So we'll copy this command and we're going to paste it in the CK SQL DB. Here we'll open again a new query editor. We'll paste the query. We'll paste the query and execute it. So it succeeded. The next step is to create external data source. It has a syntax called create external data source. The external data source will be your name. So cloud knowledge, let's say external data source, EDS. Type is blob storage. Inside this cloud knowledge, we are accessing it through blob storage. Then the location. Location is taken from, if you go here to the cloud knowledge, into the section here, under the settings, if you go to the endpoints, you will see under the blob service, this blob service URL cloudknowledge.blob.co.windows.net that we have copied and pasted. Okay, cloudknowledge.blob.co.windows.net and we have given forward slash input that we have to work on the input folder. So if you go back to the overview and to the data lake storage, here we have an input folder and the input folder we have and here in the input folder we have other changes.csv file which we are going to bulk insert into the database. So we have that hence, that's why we have used here input. Then the next is the credential, which is the database scope credential, which we have created above. So it's the same. Okay. Now we'll copy this command and then go to the SQL database, open a new query, paste it here, execute it. So query succeeded. Now we'll go to the last command. The last command is bulk insert. Bulk, bulk insert command. We have to give bulk insert as a keyword and then the name of the 
database table where the value of the CSV has to land. So we have given Aadhaar details. And if we go here and try to query the data here from the Aadhaar details table, it has few columns and rows as well. Okay, it has five rows. And the okay, if we go to the storage into account inside this input folder, we have Aadhaar changes dot CSV, which has similar data. If we preview this data, it has the same columns. Okay, citizen ID, first name, last name, city address, pin code. Here also it has the same. It has five rows, and here in the CSV we have two more rows, sixth and seventh row added. Rest of the data looks the same. So we are going to execute bulk insert for this Aadhaar details table from Aadhaar changes dot CSV. Okay, from which data source? Data source cloud knowledge EDS. So we'll name it as cloud knowledge here as EDS. Format of the file is CSV. Since we have created the data source, bulk insert command will fetch it from this data source, which has this data code credential. Okay, and the master key for the database. So all these commands are interlinked. So we'll just copy this bulk insert. Go back here. We'll create a new query. We'll paste this command. And execute it. Query succeeded. Now we'll go back to the query six tab and we'll press on the enter button. And we can see here after the fifth row, complete data present inside the CSV is added along with the two new rows which are present. So data is inserted from the CSV which is present inside the blob storage storage into account folder or container to our database table. Okay, existing table with the same schema. For bulk insert, we have to create the data source. For data source, we have to have the database scope credential. For the credential, we have to add the master key also for the database. Now here in the output, we can see that the header is also copied. To remove the header, we have here in the bulk insert official documentation page on the left side. You can see here under the SQL Server 2022 bulk insert. It is a complete documentation where if you go down. Here, it says if you use here in the E section, if we open, it is used to specify a CSV file skipping the header, the first row, using semicolon as the field terminator and this value as the line terminator. So if we use these two, we can omit or skip the header, which is coming in the output. Okay, they have given it with an example over here. So in the upcoming videos, we'll make use of this and we'll explore other options of bulk insert. Hope you've understood this video. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Thank you for watching. Happy learning. Bye.